my players took the game seriously, played defense, secured the win in the first half, and uh, they did a very good job. These are very critical games coming from a back-to-back, -back, like we coming where we squeeze every drop of energy that we had. And uh, I'm a coach that knows that have a good team that plays together and wants to do the job. So that was a very good day at the office for us. Mano žaidė rimtai nusiteikė šioms rungtynėms, puikiai žaidė gynyboje ir jau pirmąją pusę nulėmė rungtynių baigti. Tai yra labai svarbu po tokių mačių, kurie buvo du praėjusią savaitę. Todėl tikrai esu laimingas šią dieną ofisą. Hello, coach. Uh, when, you Hello. when you joined Jalgiris, uh, you said that uh, sometimes you believe in your players mo uh, more than themselves, and uh, you to tell them how good they are after such huge wins uh, in EuroLeague and today. Uh, how do you keep the line between uh, keeping them confident and maybe starting to make them believe Not that they're too good? Arrogant. Bravo. This is a very smart question. Com my congratulations. It's a... Uh, you know when you go to the pharmacy and the pharmacy makes a little bit of this, a little bit of that, it's a cocktail, okay? So mm, that is my duty, to find the right way to keep them at a certain level of concentration, right approach and attitude, and giving them the confidence to play. So it's not an easy job, but um, at the end of the day, they deserve my best because they are trying to go, to do, to go over their limits. So, I'm, we had, Luki, he took, he didn't play the last two games a lot. He was not in rhythm. It took him 12 minutes, but then again, he played very well the last 13 minutes. And uh, I was willing to wait for him because he has a big heart and not easy for him to snap fingers and be... He's an example of what kind of team we have. Klausimas buvo, esate teigęs, kad tikite savo žaidės galbūt labiau nei jie patys savimi. Koks yra santykis tarp pasitikėjimas savimi ir galbūt arogancijos? Tai treneris sakė, kai ateini vaistinę ir ten Vaisininkas paima vieno dalyko, antro dalyko ar gaunasi toks kokteilis, kuris yra tinkamas. Tai iš savo žaidė irgi mano pareiga yra gauti koncentraciją ir nusiteikimą rungtynėms. Tai nėra lengva, nes žaidėjai turi viršyti savo limitus, tačiau geras pavyzdys yra Lukas Lekajučius, kuris pastaruosiasi dviejose rungtynėse nežaidė. Šiandien pirmasis 12 minučių irgi nežaidė gerai, tačiau aš jo atikėjau ir jisai po to kitas 13 minučių tikrai sužaidė gerai. Aš buvau linkęs jo laukti, nes nėra lengva tiesiog spraktelti pirštais ir pradėti gerai žaisti. Uh, Saturday you visited the uh, Jalgiris uh, youth team. Uh, what impression did he left you? I want to see uh, some other games. I saw very good bodies, excellent defense. Uh, I believe that if we are able to every year take one, two players from the youth program and put them in the first team, we are going to be good. This is my plan, and uh, I want to be more present in this because this is our future. Is all, depends all, also how many players we are able to produce. Savaitgalį treneris apsirankė Žalgirio dublerio rungtynėse, nes norėjo pamatyti, kaip jie rungtynė aikštėje. Tai pirmas įspūdis geri kūnai, geras darbas gynyboje. Ir jeigu kiekvienais metais pavyktų paimti vieną, du žaidėjus ir integruoti į pagrindinę komandą, tai būtų tikrai puiku, nes tai yra mūsų ateitis. Today the whole main team was registered, no youth players. Did you expect a tougher battle? Say it again. 
did you expect a tougher battle today and uh, that's the reason why you didn't register any uh, young players? Um, I believe that your question is a little bit tricky because uh, mm, there are always two teams on the court. Today we were focused, linked, connected, we played solid and of course we are a team of one level and Juventus that is having a very good season is a team on a different level. So when they understood that we were present mentally, you know, the hopes to make a, the big, to shock the world were a lot less. So I don't expect anything. I just want my team to play every day and uh, to improve and I believe that we're coming from a good week. Ar šiandien tikėjo ties sunkesnių rungtynių. Aikštelėje visą laiką būna dvi komandos. Mano komanda išėjo susikaupusi, susikoncentravusi ir buvo aukščiausiame lygyje. Juventus, kurie žaidžia gerą sezoną, šiandien galbūt buvo šiek tiek kitame lygyje ir kai pamatė, kad varžovai yra susikoncentravę ir susikaupę, galbūt prarado tą pojūtį, kad jie šiandien galės šokiruoti pasaulį. 100 points today again. Arnas was the one that scored the basket. But also Danielius was on the court again. No complaints for him this time. I believe that uh, Lavinovicius has to pay half of the dinner. I agree with you. Vėl pelnyti šimtas taškų, Arnas jo spelnė, bet ir Danielius Lavrinovičius buvo aikštelėje. Tai treneris patvirtino, kad taip mano, kad ir Lavrinovičius turėtų prisidėti prie vakarienės pirkimo. Yeah, congratulations to Žalgiris, first of all, you know, the impulse of energy and impulse of the confidence that they gain in the, especially in the last games that we all saw, it's it's really on the on the high level and we knew that it's going to be physical, very physical game and that was a, one of the first targets that we match up physicality, first of all defensively and then of course we, to match up physicality in offense because if you want to play you need to be on that level. I think that we oversleep uh, first half, absolutely. Uh, the team didn't show up in the gym, I think that, that then show reaction in the in the second half, especially in the third quarter, the way that we usually actually play with this, those energy and uh, with all mistakes, but I say first of all with energy and physicality that is necessary if you want to compete with those teams like, like Žalgiris. Sveikinu Žalgirį su pergalė. Jie pradėjo su tikra su gerų impulsų energijos, pasitikėjimo savimi, tą matėme ir pastarasęs kelias rungtynės. Šie dalykai buvo aukščiausio lygio. Žinojome, kad rungtynės bus fiziškos ir turime atsakyti tą fiziškumą ir to padaryti nepavyko. Pramėgojame pirmą pusę visiškai. Atrodo, kad net netvykome į rungtynės. Trečiame kelnė jau rodėme savo veidą, buvome energijai kokie ir turime būti, kai žaičiame prieš tokio lygo komandas. Coach, uh, Žalg playing Žalgiris in this arena is probably one of the biggest games for your players this season. Uh, how come they didn't show up today? But this is what, what I say, you know, this is of course different meaning, but uh, in general, I think that the guys over respect, you know, the, the, the opponent and the ambient and everything like that. They got, I think, you know, over respect. I saw this from the first moment of the game because I saw them that they, are, that they had this, like, how to say, they were tight. Tight because the, the respect was too much for, for the game. Okay, some of players doesn't have this experience to play those kind of games and not to compete with, with, uh, with those level teams. So this is also some learning process. And what I say, uh, when you play these games in the season with Jalgeris, uh, this momentum where they are really in a good, good momentum and we are where we are, of course, this is good to see and to analyze where we are right now with our basketball. So, of course, this is process in our team and that we need to work to, to play better, which we show already this, this year. But I say, you know, this is, this is the process for the season and we need to look forward in all uh, games that left in the end of the season, especially, uh, you know, to to work on our or our game to bring it into that level.
Klausimas buvo, kodėl žaidėjams, kuriems galbūt tai vienas geriausių progų pasirodyti Žalgirio arenoje, šiandien netvyko į rungtynės. Tai treneris atsakė, kad galbūt todėl, kad per daug gerbė varžovą, tas trenerių matėsi nuo pat pirmų minučių, kad jo žaidėjai buvo įsitempę ir tiesiog per daug gerbė Žalgirį. Taip, kai kurie žaidėjai neturi tokios patirties, tačiau tai ir yra mokymosi procesas, tą reikia išmokti. Ypatingai, kai Žalgiris žaidžia šiuo metu taip gerai, tai yra būdas pamatyti, kokiame lygėje iš tikro esame. Ir šiame sezone tikrai esame žaidę gerai ir tą reikia parodyti ir per likusią sezoną rungtynės. A huge loss against Tritas in King Mindaugas Cup now here. How do you keep your players' heads cool and positive right now? But, you know, uh, you mentioned two games, of course, we know that it was a big, uh, big close games, but, you know, uh, we played a very good game in this KMT first game at home. We had 37 minutes equal with, uh, with Ritas in the momentum where we lost also one of the most important players in the team, Ivy Bray, who left to ACB League. And... Uh, we lost actually the game in the last three minutes of the game and the, the, the advantage that uh, Ritas get in this game, I think psychologically was too much for the players when they opened the game and when they saw that the things doesn't go well, you know, just they just didn't believe that they can do something more in this game. So this game actually did just let the game go because they saw that they didn't believe that they, they, that they can change something. This is, of course, Something what I'm not happy about, but you know that's 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 moment that's momentum, and of course the result on the end is not re real real uh, difference between the, those teams. But this this happened. This happened to any team. This game today, I thought you know that we're going to show more than this third quarter. Third quarter was really uh, level of the game and good reaction from all players that. We can we can compete them, but to play with Jalgiris and to enjoy the game, you need to do more. You need to do more, especially from the start of the game when I mentioned when I saw the way we start, the way we make the first shot, uh, first defense. You know, then frustration show up in the team. You know, bringing from defense to offense, and that was a difficult. But for me, at least, the the most positive thing is this reaction in a halftime, and of course that we need to learn. We are not a team. You know, like that, we can contend now and, and compete with Jalgiris, but we, we, we want to be ready and, and competitive uh, in this league. So, for this, we need to work more. Klausimas buvo, kodėl svarbiose rungtynėse KMT turnyre su Rytu ir šiuose su Žalgiriu buvo tokie dideli pralaimėjimai. Tai treneris atsakė, kad tai visgi tik tai dviejos rungtynės, o KMT pirmajame mače tikrai gerai žaidėme 37 minutės, prieš tai praradė svarbų žaidėją. Ir Per paskutinės tris minutės varžau įgyjo tokią persvarą, kuri persikėlė kitos rungtynės. Ir kai jas pradėjome prastai, tiesiog žaidėjai nuleido rankas, kuo nesu patenkintas, bet tai kartais būna suprantama. Tikrai nėra komandos tokio skirtumo lygio, koks buvo rezultatas. Šiandien tikrai patiko trečiasis kelinys, kuriame parodėme, kad galime žaisti taip, kaip mokame. Tačiau turime nuveikti ir daugiau, nes negalima pradėti taip rungtynių kaip pirmame kilne, kai tiesiog ir nuo pirmo metimo, nuo pirmos gynybos matėsi, kad žaidėjai yra nesavo kailėje. Tačiau turime būti pozityvus ir kovingi, nes dar laukia pakankamai daug sezonio rungtynių. Last question. How is the rehabilitation process for TJ Starks going? He's doing well right now. I think that he's very close to start with basketball, which will give us exactly what we miss right now, one more strength on the perimeter. And I hope now after the break that he will join the team in a full uh, strength, physical strength, and to integrate in the team in this period. So I hope that we stay healthy uh, after, after this break, that everybody are in a good shape, and then to start in March. Uh, the, the, the next games in the best, best version of ourselves right now.
TJ Starks'as jaučiasi jau neblogai, pradeda po truputį sportuoti ir tikimės, kad po būsimos pertraukos jau pilnai prisijungs prie komandos, tikimės, kad daugiau nebus traumų ir kovo galėsime rungtyniauti pilną sudėtimį.